My mom used to tell me something. He said to me, she said to me, may, may the Lord raise her soul. She said, my son, before you get married, even before you meet her or before you think about her, make sure in your, at the peak of your career, when things are rosy and good, make sure you do these things for at least, at most, four years. She said, Monday and Thursday, pray and fast and ask God to give you your own wife, not another person's wife. You must not joke with that. Mondays and Thursdays. And make sure you do that for four years. So for four years, it has become an habit for me on Monday and Thursday to fast and pray and ask for my own wife. So, Remedies was on. We're playing shows everywhere. You know, Eddie Montana, Tony Tetula, you know, Enjoyment Galore was going on, but most time I was always in the mosque in Ajomo. So they don't understand with the apple. So now what's up with this guy? These are beautiful babes now. You know, she but boy, what happened? She could like babes now, you know, but they, 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 they didn't understand, you know, where I was coming from. So I made sure that I complete the agreement and the covenant that I had with God. So Monday, Thursday, I had to pray. I had to fast. You know, and also give arms. You know, arms could be, you know, buy ram, cook food for the less privileged and all that. So after that, this day I was on my way to my video shoot. Live in Yankee, it is you promise you go marry me. You don't know Yankee, you can forget me to tell me. I never finish. He must see for me, Kuti. What in Abaja? Oh, I feel my dodge me. Oh, I will lose 20 babies. Go buy a one Idris. Idris, be one of wash your head by me. Oh, go a lot of wash your head. See my good juice, okay. I guess me Dani Mori, oh 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 Dani, yeah Are you more of a son, yo Baba wa pati ni yanki Ah, oh oh, Stella Eh, 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 eh So, along Ikoi To connect to Dauphin Estate You know I just saw this beautiful black girl She was trying to fix the tire of a car, so I came down with my boys. I was like, Man, I help her fix that. I was like, How are you doing? Nice to meet you. My name is Abdul. God told me that you are my wife. From inside the car. I came down, I woke up down. to her. Wow, you know. So, our brother was there, you know, and I saw a child. So, I was like, Is that your son? Say, No, my brother's son. I said, Okay, cool. I said, so how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Like, why are you ready to? Say, she's going for a video shoot. She didn't even know she was going for my video shoot. You know. So it was ID Ogunbe that I invited them. So, and I collected the brother's number. So fixed the tire. They left. Then we left. When we got there, we saw them at the video shoot. It was like, ah, so you're coming for my video shoot. That, that's nice. I was shocked. So, three days later, I went to their house uninvited. So, I went to knock on her, their door. So, the mom opened the door and the mom was like, Ah, I know you, Mr. Lecturer. I was like, Ekalema, yes, ma, I'm the one, ma. She said, Ah, dude, are you looking for somebody here? I said, Yes, ma. I said, Oh, I'm looking for you today, Sekinat. I said, Oh, she didn't invite me. I just wanted to come and say hello. She said, Oh, please come in. I came in. So she saw me and she was like, I can't remember inviting you to my house. Why? I was like, I'm very, very sorry. So that same day, I told the parents my intention. Oh, no. 
He was like, really? So, one month, two months later, I married at straight. We didn't even have courtship for, say, get to know each other for six months or one year. Mm -mm. Now, for inside marriage, you get to know, start to know each other. Yes, that's why I married with the courts to get to know each other, our likes and our dislikes and other things. She is an angel. She is a great mother. She is a great friend. She's a great partner. She she's a she, she's 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 my mother after my mother. She's just God blessings. God just sent that to me. You know. So I'm so grateful to her. I'm so 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 grateful. As in she's she's selfless. She's she's everything. I mean I wasn't expecting her to you know, I wasn't expecting her at that moment to ask the doctor that can I donate my kidney? immediately as in so like she was expecting it she has big hearts man may almighty Allah continue to bless her for me I love her so much I appreciate her God used her to give me second chance to live again so I can speak as the voice of the voice left for my people when your marriage is built based on what you think it's called love and it's infiltration. Any marriage that is built based on the physical likeness will never, never last. Marriage is beyond the physical appearance. Marriage is spiritual, not religion. Marriage is spiritual. Marriage is an understanding between two beautiful people that comes together to live as one, come true, come shine, to support each other and build a beautiful family together and tolerate each other. And when they have problems, they settle it among themselves, you know, and they move on. No marriage is perfect. So for you to be able to keep your marriage and keep your head up, that means that you truly have God in your life. Because without God, it's not possible. It's not possible. I'm not talking of religion. I'm not talking of your pastor. I'm talking of spirituality, understanding each other. Know what your partner wants. Don't do the things she doesn't want. Apologize when you, are, when you make mistakes, when you messed up, you know. And just keep your head up. It's as simple as that. Marriage is deep. Very, very deep. If it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. So some people go into marriage based on the physical appearance. Because they are attracted to each other. But there is more to marriage when you get into it. That's where the problem comes. <laughs> which I never do before. Which I never see. But, you know, as time goes on, you know, you, you drop some things, you know, you don't pass those kind of things, you know. Nothing did yet. Nothing did yet. Best thing to do is make sure your wife is more beautiful. Do everything to make her look more beautiful. Do everything to make her look more sexy. So that when you come to the house, you will always love her and appreciate her. You know what I'm saying? As an artist, of course... I've traveled around the world. I've seen a lot of beautiful girls, but I never make mistakes. Say, yeah, yes, yeah, scandal. Say, I don't give somebody belay for outside. I don't. <laughs> no, no possible. You know, I take easy. It's very easy if you put your mind to it. It's extremely very easy. Not everybody feel olam. You know, like, you know, not everybody feel olam. Like a couple of my friends for the industry, a lot of them don't feel that, but 
if you put your mind to it and you know what you want and you discipline yourself, definitely you will always be happy. Because what matters is not about your own 30 minutes enjoyment that will now create problems for your children. What most people don't understand is no matter how it is, any mistake you make that makes you to be to have children outside has become polygamy. And it simply means that if you're a public figure and you're doing well, the different women with those different children, their mother will be teaching them different things. And those children will be growing up with those thoughts. And they'll be looking at their dad like, oh, but we are going to jump on your king, my dad will go and serve. As in, things that are not supposed to be, you know, you just intentionally create a thread into your children's life. You know, because the woman you impregnated outside is telling the children that, oh, no, your father is very rich, so when you grow up, you have to keep your head up, or you have a lot of uh, inheritance to inherit, so this, this is war, be yourself, this, that. Meanwhile, the same woman would go to Babalao to arrange something to hypnotize the man. Meanwhile, the wife at home may want to protect his own property. So there is different jazz flying up and down. So how can that man be? It's not possible. You know, we didn't expect it. You didn't create it, but it will happen because polygamy is... I don't like it. Polygamy, no... People, some people are enjoying it, they are doing it, I'm not saying I'm against it, but for me, I don't like it at all. It's not, it's not a beautiful thing. Polygamy, no, 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 no. Like, like in Islam, God says that you can marry as much as you like if you can love them equally. That love them equally is a powerful word. It is not possible to love two women equally. You must love one past one. You must love one past one. So, but some of our Muslim brothers don't take advantage of they, they modify by themselves. They modify by themselves as opportunity to marry plenty of women. You know. So, but he said if you can love them equally, I cannot love two women equally, so I'd rather stay with one. Thank you so much for your time, my address. And Thank you. We're looking forward to. Thank you so much. Shagwe, good to see you, my brother. Thank you, my people. God bless you. I appreciate you. I love you.